The energy from our star flies through the universe, through our atmosphere, and hits us at the ground. But now when we go underwater, the ocean properties of water are like pure blue filter. So it's gonna filter out all these other wavelengths except blue. As you go down further, it's primarily blue, blue, blue till 700 meters. And at that level, there's still faint photons of sunlight in the blue range. And we call this the twilight zone. And there, animals are still perceiving a tiny little bit of our sun's energy. Below this, it's gone 24 7 darkness. And it turns out that there's a ton of color vision down in the deep. So it's like they're making enough light down there to be able to be satisfying all the eyes of the deep sea creatures. So it's not this totally dark world down there. It's still light. It's just the animals are making the light rather than the sun. We've designed all this technology to kind of satisfy our visual hardware. As I started looking at other animals, they have totally different hardware. And I've been looking at everything through these silly little primate eyes. We have to overcome our humanness to jump behind the world of a shark or another creature and see the world from their perspective. We found a biofluorescent shark, and it only sees right at the blue-green interface. So it's really just tuned to a very similar spectrum to the environment it lives in. This fluorescence was creating greater contrast for the shark. It's like this endless well of information. We're at the very tip of the iceberg. 